All right, in this problem, we're asked to calculate the discrete time Fourier transform of the signal x, which goes from 0 to 3. Um, and its numerical values are 4, 7, 7, 4. Um, if you recall, that would be a type 2 signal because it's symmetrical, but it doesn't have a central element. Um, but we're also asked to apply a Hamming window to it. Um, now, I found the Hamming window on this website. Uh, you probably have it in your own textbook. But 0.54 minus 0.46 cosine of 2 pi n divided by m minus 1. Um, and uh, m is the number of samples. In this case, it's 4. So I'll write this out here. The window function is equal to 0.54 minus 0. 46, it was, uh, yeah, cosine, cosine of 2 pi n divided by m minus 1, where m equals 4. Okay, so let's go with um, the window 0. That's 0.54 minus 0.46 cosine of 0. That is equal to 0 0.08. WC1, 0 0.54 minus 0.46. Um, 2 pi over 3. Uh, cosine, yeah, 2 pi over 3, and that's equal to 0.77, WC2, that's 4 pi over 3. And that is yeah, also equal to point seven seven. And finally WC three, fourth and last, point fifty four minus point forty six cosine of um, that would be 2 times 3, 6, divided by 3, 2, 2, 4 pi. Is that right? 2 times 6, 2 times 3, no, that's 2 pi. Sorry about that. And so we would get that's the same as 0. That would be equal to 0 0.08. So the window expressed as a vector here would be 0 0.08, 0 0.77 twice. And 0 0.08. You shouldn't be surprised that it's also kind of like a, a type 2 signal. Um, okay, so to apply the window really just means to take the dot product of the two. So we're going to take x and dot it with. Uh, the window function, or rather the window itself, and that'll give you um, 0 0.32, 5.39, 5 5.39, and that of course is 0 0.32. Okay. 
So let's take the Fourier transform. So that's 0.32. The indexes go from 0 to 3. So that's times e to the 0 plus 539 e to the minus j1 plus 5.39 e to the minus j2 plus 0 0.32 e to the minus j3 so here what you would get is uh, this is equal to 1 that's true and we have 0 0.32 okay so Actually, in order to let's not transform e to the zero here to one, and you'll see why. So let's take the exponentials that have the same factors, group them together, and see what happens. So 0 0.32. There's no central element, but let's kind of make one and say that it's e to the minus j, uh, what's between 1 and 2, it's 1.5. And so you would get um, e to the j1.5. Is that so? Yes. And here you would get plus e to the minus j 1.5. So we have a, a cosine here. Um, yeah, okay, so plus 5.39 um, e to the minus j 1.5. See, we're just applying the same strategy as we did for the type 2. Uh, signal that uh, we've covered in a previous video. So here uh, we will have e, where are we? 5 point, so we'll have plus 0.5 minus j times 0 0.5 plus uh, e to the j 0 0.5. So there's a minus here. Actually, there should be a plus here and a minus here. Okay, what's that equal to? So really, we're going to bring in the 0 0.32 multiplied by 2 times the cosine of 1.5. So there should yeah, also be omega here for some reason that I forgot. Omega, omega. Omega, omega. Okay, so e minus um, j one point five omega times zero point sixty four cosine of one point five omega plus 5.39 times 2, that's 10.78, plus 10.78 um, cosine of 0 0.5 omega. So what do we have here? If uh, we want to get the modulus, um, e to the j omega, well, that's just the modulus of the exponential, which is equal to 1, 
multiplied by the modulus of p omega. And so evaluated at some value. The, the phase, well, it's the phase of the exponential term, which is minus 1.5 omega plus the, um, the argument of the polynomial. That's really just some k times pi, and that's it. So the steps to follow were really simple. Um, we took, we created the, the, the window with the Hamming parameters being 0 0.54, 0 0.46. Um, and then we made a vector out of that, took the dot product with the input signal. And then we took the uh, Fourier transform of that uh, signal and that's it. So uh, there's a PDF version in the description below. Thanks for watching.